Muli, isa pong uh, magandang umaga po sa bawat isa, sa mga kapatid dito sa, sa Litran. At uh, salamat sa Diyos. Ito po ay muling makarating sa inyo at uh, makasama kayo sa pagsamba at sa pagtakila sa ating Diyos. Bago po tayo mag-start, eh, manalangin muna tayo. Aming Diyos, aming Ama sa langit, gaya ng aming ginawit kanina, we praise your name. Sabi nga, praise Him, praise Him. Tunay nga na dapat lamang namin kayong purihin at bigyan ng parangal. At ngayon po, eh, pinaparangalan namin kayo sa pakikinig sa inyong salita. O nawa, ini-exalt namin, Lord, ang inyong salita sa aming kalagitnaan. Turuan mo po kami, turuan mo po ang iyong tagapagsalita, turuan mo rin ang mga makikinig. At lahat ng ito'y tumungo sa iyong kaluwalatian at kap kapurihan. Gumawa po ng may kalakasan, ang banan na Espiritu sa aming kalagitnaan. At kayo lamang po ang takilain. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Sa pagkakataon kong ito ay eh, patuloy po tayo mag-aaral sa aklat ng uh, Ecclesiastes. Eh, nasa chapter 2 na po tayo. Kung uh, alalahan niyo po nung nakaraan, nung nabisita po ako dito, pinag-aralan po natin yung chapter 1 at kung sino po ang sumulat nito. At sa ang background po ni Haring Solomon. A brief preview lang, ito nga pong Ecclesiastes o ang aklat ng mangaral ay isinulat ito ni Solomon. Si Solomon ay anak ni David. Dito po sa chapter 1, pinahayag dito ni Solomon na hinanap niya ang kahulugan ng buhay sa daan ng karunungan at kaalaman. Pero hindi niya ito nakita sa daan ng karunungan at kaalaman. At sabi nga niya, ito'y parang paghahabol sa hangin. Sabi niya sa Ecclesiastes chapter 1 verse 16, sinabi ko sa aking sarili, ang karunungan ko ay higit sa sinundan kong mga hari ng Jerusalem. Alam ko kung ano ang tunay na karunungan at kaalaman. Sa verse 17, pinag-aralan kong mabuti ang pagkaiba ng karunungan at ng kamangmangan, ng katalinuhan at ng kabaliwan. Ngunit, napatunayan kong ito rin ay tudad lang sa paghahabol sa, ha sa hangin. At sabi pa niya sa verse 18, habang lumalawak ang karunungan, ay dumarami ang alalahanin at habang dumarami ang nalalaman, ay lalong tumitindi ang kapighatian. Dito po sa Ecclesiastes chapter 1, ay mapapansin din natin ang katagang vanity o walang kapuluhan. Ibig sabihin nito ay nothing, useless, meaningless, a waste of vapor a puff of wind, a mere breath. Nothing you could get your hands on. The nearest thing is zero. Vanity includes brevity, unsubstantiality, emptiness, unreliability, frailty, futility. Ito po ang mga obserbasyon ni Haring Solomon sa chapter 1. At may pananaw siya dito na sinasabi sa ilalim ng araw. Ibig sabu sabihin po niyan ay pananaw sa buhay dito sa sanlibutan. Tunay nga, nasa ilalim tayo ng araw. Kaya yan po yung sa chapter 2, a brief review. Ngayon, tutungo po tayo sa chapter 2 na. Basahin ko lang po, Ecclesiastes chapter 2. I said to myself, Come now, I will test you with pleasure. So, enjoy yourself. And behold, it too was futility. I said of laughter, it is madness. And of pleasure. What does it accomplish? I explored with my mind how to stimulate my body with wine, while my mind was guiding me wisely and how to take hold of folly until I could see what good there is for the sons of men to do under heaven the few years of their lives. I enlarged my works. I built houses for myself. I planted vineyards for myself. I made gardens and parks for myself. And I planted in them all kinds of fruit trees. 
I made ponds of water for myself from which to irrigate a forest of growing trees. I bought male and female slaves and I had homeborn slaves. Also, I possessed flocks and herds larger than all who preceded me in Jerusalem. Also, I collected for myself silver and gold and the treasure of kings and provinces. I provided for myself male and female singers and the pleasures of men, many concubines. Then I became great and increased more than all who preceded me in Jerusalem. My wisdom also stood by me. All that my eyes desired, I did not refuse them. I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure, for my heart was pleased because of all my labor, and this was my reward for all my labor. Thus I considered all my activities which my hands had done, and the labor which I had exerted, and behold, all was vanity and striving after wind, and there was no profit under the sun. So I turned to consider wisdom, madness, and folly. For what will the man do who will come after the king except what has already been done? And I saw the wisdom, that wisdom excels folly as light excels darkness. The wise man's eyes are in his head, but the fool walks in darkness. And yet I know that one faith befalls them both. Then I said to myself, as is the fate of the fool, it will also be for me. Why then have I been extremely wise? So I said to myself, this too is vanity. For there is no lasting remembrance of the wise man as with a fool, inasmuch as in the coming days all will be forgotten. And how the wise man and the fool alike die. So I hated life for the work which had been done under the sun was grievous to me because everything is futility and striving after wind. Thus, verse 18, I hated all the fruit of my labor for which I had labored under the sun. For I must leave it to the man who will come after me. And who knows whether he will be a wise man or a fool. Yet, he will have control over all the fruit of my labor for which I have labored by acting wisely under the sun. This too is vanity. Therefore, I completely despair of all the fruit of my labor for which I had labored under the sun. When there is a man who has labored with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, then he gives his legacy to one who has not labored with them. This too is vanity and great evil. For what does a man get in all his labor and in striving with which he labors under the sun? Because all his days his task is painful and grievous. Even at night his mind does not rest. This too is vanity. There is nothing better for a man than to eat and drink and tell himself that his labor is good. This also I have seen that it is from the hand of God. For who can eat and who can have enjoyment without him? For the person who is good in his sight, he has given wisdom and knowledge and joy, while to the sinners he has given while to the sinner he has given the task of gathering and collecting, so that he may give to one who is good in God's sight, this too is vanity and striving after win. So, ito po ay, ito na po, na, nandito na po tayo sa Ecclesiastes chapter 2. Pansinin po natin yung mga sinabi dito ni Solomon sa Ecclesiastes chapter 2. No? Dito sa Ecclesiastes chapter 2, sinabi, pinakita dito ni Solomon na hinanap niya ang kahulugan ng buhay sa daan ng kalayawan, kasiyahan, achievements, accomplishments, accumulations of wealth and properties, public and civic works, relationships and sensuality. Sabi nga sa verse 1, I said to myself, come now, I will test you with pleasure. So, 
enjoy yourself and behold it too was futility i said of laughter it is madness and a pleasure what does it accomplish sabi pa niya i explored with my mind how to stimulate my body with wine while my mind was guiding me wisely and how to take hold of folly until i could see what good there is for the sons of men to do under heaven the few years of their lives so ginawa ni Solomon lahat he tried everything mere katatawanan siguro meron siya mga mga clowns no meron na ang famous na lugar yung the clowns siguro yun pupunta siya nagpakasawa siya sa katatawanan sa mga jokes Di ba, yan rin naman ang gusto ng mga kabataan, di ba? Natatawanan, joke, 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 di ba? Mga ganyan, no? Laughter. Sige, sinubok niya. Sinubok din niya yung mga parties, kasiyahan. Siguro, you party till you drop. Morning, baka pwede morning till midnight. O kaya naman, uh, start ng hapon, Until umaga na, sinubok din niya noon. Sinubok din niya mga amusement, games, hobbies. Mga, pwede siguro, mga puppet show o mga show sa peta. No? Mga command performance, mga artista ang magagaling. No? At uh, doon, eh, nagbibigay sila ng show. He tried alcohol. But, pero sabi niya, he kept his senses. Siguro dito, si Solomon ay isang uh, wine connoisseur. Ibig sabihin ng wine connoisseur ay eh, uh, drinking with pleasure. No? Uh, di naman naglalasing yung tamang inom lang. Okay? Yung po yun. So, di naman lasing ko. At ang pinakamatindi rito, alam niyo po, ang asawa ni Solomon ay pitong daang uh, pitong daang ang kanyang uh, asawa at tatlong daan ang kanyang concubine. So, a total of 1,000 women. Isipin niyo na lang yun, no? 1,000 women at his disposal. Eh, siguro, if we let our imaginations run wild eh, to the max to grabe na to di ba? isang libong babae ano niya nga kaya kinakausap to 360 a day kung one women a day kakausapin niya 360 second year 720 pa lang yun third year fourth year ba? almost four years bago bumalik to sa una para makausap So, matindi itong experience ni Solomon. At kayang-kaya ito ni Solomon sapagkat si Solomon ay napakayaman nung kapanahunan niya. Sabi nga niya, he receives 666 talents of gold. At sabi nga, you can see gold everywhere. Mga drinking vessels niya, gold. Yung silver noon, walang halaga. Eh, sa ating ngayon, yung silver may halaga eh. Pero noon, sa panahon niya, walang halaga. Gold is everywhere in the kingdom. Mga utensils niya, siguro yung sa ornaments niya sa palasyo, baka lang siguro yung mga signposts, eh gold din. So, the wealth, the wisdom, the wealth and splendor excel more no panahon ni Solomon. He surpassed the kings of the world. He had it all. Lahat nasa kanya. And it did not bring him satisfaction and joy in life. Sabi pa nga niya, so sinubok naman niya ito. I enlarged my works, sabi niya. I built houses for myself. I planted vineyards for myself. O nag-garden siya. I made gardens and parks for myself. And I planted in them all kinds of fruit trees. 
Ay, siguro po may mangga, may santol, may papaya, may, may mga guyabano, ano pa, mga yung sa dabaw, durian, at dami siguro, per, yung mga persimon, may lemon, so lahat. I made pans of water for myself from which to irrigate a forest of growing trees. I bought male and female slaves, and I had home-born slaves. Also, I possessed flocks and herds larger than all who preceded me in Jerusalem. Also, I collected for myself silver and gold and treasure of kings and provinces. I provide for myself male and female singers and the pleasures of men, many concubines. Sabi nga, 1,000 yung babae ni Solomon. Eh. Eh, ito siguro, pag yung kanyang entertainment, Halimbawa, eh, si, si ba pinaka sikat na mga awit ngayon? No? Darin, baka si Darin, Darin Espanto. Siguro. O ito si Darin, tawagin nyo nga yan. Command performance to dito yan, ha? sa kaharihan ko. Siguro nang panuhan niya kung may ganun man. No? Tawagin nyo yan. O sino pa ba bang mga alam ko lang, mga Shasha Padilla, o yung mga, yung mga ano yan, yung mga... Magagaling na umawit, magagaling matataas yung boses, no? So, o yung mga umawit nung Asian Entertainment, ang gagaling nun. Siguro kung napanood nyo nung Asian Summit, yung mga umawit nun, pinalakpakan, pati si President Trump, tumayo. Pinalakpakan yung mga, mga awit ng Pilipino, siguro yun, no? Command performance, pinaawit niya. At sabi nga sa verse 9, Then I became great and increased more than all who preceded me in Jerusalem. My wisdom also stood by me. Sabi pa niya, All that my eyes desired, I did not refuse them. I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure. For my heart was pleased because of all my labor. And this was my reward for all my labor. Thus, I considered all my activities which my hands had done and the labor which I had exerted. And behold, all was vanity and striving after wind. And there was no profit under the sun. Mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, mga kapataan dito, no? sabi ni Solomon, all that my eyes desired, I did not refuse them. I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure. For my heart was pleased because of all my labor. Isipin na lang po natin, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid. Baka bawat isa dito sa atin, eh, merong mga mga iniisip na mga pinangarap. No? Na siguro, no, sana, sana makamtamt ko to, sana makamit ko yan, sana ganito, sana ganyan, at pag nakamtan ko yan, happy na ako, masaya na ako, siguro, okay na. Eh si Solomon, kung ano man yung nasa isip nyo, mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, na nais nyo makamtan, at sasabihin nyo, happy na ako, pag meron na ako yan, eh, bingo na. Enjoy. Sabi niya. Sabi nga niya, all my eyes desired, I did not refuse them. I did not withhold my heart from any pleasure. And sabi niya, at the end of the day, all is vanity and striving after wind. There was no profit under the sun. Walang pakinabang, sabi niya. It's empty. At hindi niya nakita ang kahulugan ng buhay. In building houses, vineyards, fruit trees, ponds, collections of gold, slaves, marami siyang alipin, flocks, horses, chariots, may mga slaves siya. Alam niyo, slaves. E gaya ng ano, sa Middle East, yung mga OFW workers natin eh. Hindi naman tinatratong ano eh. Uh, bayaran na manggagawa, kunti alipin. 
Ang alipin walang karapatan. Ito, marami siyang slaves. May mga singers, entertainments, vineyards. Pero sabi niya, all is vanity. Walang kabuluhan. It is striving after wind. And there was no profit under the sun. Maaring sa atin, hindi naman masama magkaroon ng mga ano sa buhay, ambisyon, na nais marating, ano? Na sa ganitong edad, dapat ganito na ako, sa ganitong edad, doctorate, yun ang pinakamataas eh, sa ngayon eh. O kaya, at the age of siguro 25, millionaire na ako, I have earned my millions, o kaya, at this age, dapat manager na ako, o kaya naman, yung iba sa atin, ah, pagdating ko ng 20, sana may boyfriend na ako. Ay, kung lalaki naman, may girlfriend na. O yung iba naman, sana by 30, I settle down na with a lovely wife. O yung iba naman, I settle na with a lovely, o with a handsome husband. Ngayon, no? siguro pag doon, achieve na ako, okay na, happy na ako. But, brethren, mga kaibigan, apart from God, you will not find fulfillment in all these things. If God is not part of your life, there will be no true enjoyment, true happiness, and fulfillment in life. You will have no meaning in your accomplishment unless it is linked with God, unless God is part of that accomplishment. There is no real lasting meaning on projects. If what to think, kung ano iniisip nyo ngayon, mga plano nyo is the ultimate goal in your life, you will not find true satisfaction in all of them. It will leave you empty. Lalo na, kung nandun na kayo sa top, at nakikita nyo, oh, nandito na ako sa taas, anong luklukan ng aking karir. Pero, ba't hindi ako happy? Sabi nga niya dito eh, sabi niya sa verse 18, Thus I hated all the fruit of my labor for which I had labored under the sun. For I must leave it to the man who will come after me. And who knows whether he will be a wise man or a fool. Yet he will have control over all the fruits of my labor for which I have labored by acting wisely under the sun. This too is vanity. Therefore, I completely despaired of all the fruit of my labor for which I had labored under the sun. When there is a man who has labored with wisdom, knowledge, and skill, then he gives his legacy to the one who has not labored with them. This too is vanity and a great evil. For what does a man get in all his labor and his striving with which he labors under the sun? Because all his days his task is painful and grievous. Even at night his mind does not rest. This too is vanity. Seeking meaning in life through work leaves you empty. Your work will not give you true joy and pleasure in life. Ibig sabihin ba niyan eh? Di okay lang ba? Unemployed na lang ako. Hindi po. Hindi po yan ang ibig sabihin niyan. Ibig sabihin niyan, kung dito sa karir mo, dito mo uh, tinitingnan na ito makikipagbigay sa iyo ng tunay na kaligayahan, eh hindi po. Your career is a blessing from God. But if God, if the Lord is not part of your life, of your career, and your work, it will leave you empty. And there is vanity. Sabi pa nga niya eh. Uh, sabi niya, Thus I hated all the fruits of my labor for which I had labored under the sun. For I must leave it to the man who will come after me. Di ba maraming ganyan? Maraming... Nagpupulsiki, nagpupunyagi, 
para ma-establish ang kanyang buhay, magkaroon ng kayamanan, stocks dito, uh, pera sa banko ng ganyan, eh di syempre, kung papanaw ka na, iiwan mo na sa mga anak. O, ipapamana mo na. Eh yung mga anak mo, eh di mo naturuan. Ulastok pala. O, eh school bukol pala ang pinagagawa, kaya pumasa sa eskwela. O, wala natutunan. Eh ang gusto lang, happy-happy. O, gasta dito, gasta doon. Hindi, hindi natuto ng responsibility. Eh ano mangyayari sa yaman mo? Mawala. Wala na. Sayang yung pinagpaguran mo. Ito nangyari din kay Solomon niya. Iniwan niya yung kaharihan kay Rehoboam. Anong nangyari kay Rehoboam? Nung siya pumupo na hari, na-split ang kaharihan. May mga taong ganyan. Siguro nabalitaan niyo na nakatanggap ng mana, napakalaki, kaya kaya lang hindi niya di, wala siyang karunungan, puro kalayawan ang naisip, nagkawinda-minda ng mana, nalustay ang kayamanan, nalugi, nabankrap, goodbye, mahirap ang nangyari. O ganito rin, kung titignan natin, pagbulay-bulayin niya itong ganitong karanasan, Baka sa inyo, mga wala pang trabaho, nagkatrabaho, o dito, naghahanap na trabaho. Nung wala pa kayong trabaho, naghahanap kayo. At nung nakahanap ka na ng trabaho, syempre, nagkasweldo. No? Kumikita na. Lumipas yung panahon. Sinasabi mo, di na kasya sweldo ko. Maliit na eh. Kulang na. Eh kasi noon, nung wala ka pang trabaho, okay lang siyo magperienda, pananakyo, baseball, squid ball, o lugaw, o walang laman. Simple lang, di ba? Eh nung nagtrabaho ka na, maganda yung swerto mo, uy, pwede na pala ako mag-Jollibee, o kaya mag-Donald. O. Tapos noon, nagbabaong ka. Pag may lakad ka, nagbabaon ka ng sandwich kasi wala ka pang trabaho. No? Nag, may pang merienda ka. Nagbabaon ka ng merienda. Nung katrabaho ka, ay, dito na lang wakain sa fast food. Diba? O, di na ako magbabaon. Sa kantin na lang. Ngayon, may pera ka na, nag-Starbucks ka na rin. No? Coffee-coffee dyan, no? Diba? Diba? Dati, Nagta-tricycle ka. Nag-jijim. Nagtrabaho ka na. Eh, late ka na magising. Ngayon, nag-UB Express ka na. So, para hindi ka mali. Pati pag-uwi na rin, nag-UB Express ka na. Nagkatrabaho ka, may credit card ka na rin. Credit card, swipe-swipe ka na lang. Swipe, swipe dito, swipe doon. No? Ngayon, pagbagong sweldo ka na, bayad ka muna ng credit card. Siyempre, credit card muna eh. Bayad ka na. Tapos, yung matira, yun na lang gagastos misin, gagastusin mo for the next, hanggang next payday. Eh ngayon, signature jeans na. Levi's, mga Giordano, Uniqlo, Pagkano mo na, binipili mo, no? Ganyan. Dumating ang panahon, sabi mo, parang kulang ang sweldo ko. Maghahanap ako ng mas malaking bayan na sweldo. Hindi na ako happy sa trabaho kong ito. E paano ka hindi na happy? Marami ka ng utang. Yung credit card mo, laging to the limit na. Tapos, hindi ka na makagimi. Maghanap ulit ng malaking sweldo, vicious cycle ulit. Mahanap ka na naman, paikot-ikot na. So, money is a universal passport. Kahit saan, kung may pera ka, 
Sabi nga, money talks and everything. Makapangyari yan, may kapangyari yan. But, it cannot buy you happiness and satisfaction and fulfillment. If you have money, of course, you will not be called poor. But it cannot provide you happiness and fulfillment in life. Si Cecil Rhodes, kaibigan siya ni William Booth. Si William Booth, ito yung head ng Salvation Army. Itong Cecil Rhodes na ito, control niya yung time, diamond mining sa South and South Africa at Northern and South Rhodesia. Sabi nga ni William Booth, ito yung head ng Salvation Army, eh, masaya ka ba sa buhay mo? Yaman nun eh, puro diamante, di ba? Ang hawak niya kahit siguro mga ilang isang damakbak na diamante, pwede niyang hawakan eh. Pero sabi niya, sabi, no, I'm not happy. Good heavens, no. So tunay nga, if you live a life apart from God, Life is empty. It will not bring anything in this world will not bring joy into your life. Bagong cellphone? Ngayon? iPhone na X na ba ngayon? Tingin mo, happy ka na. After a year or six months, may bagong dumating. Mas level up. Sabi mo, hindi ka na happy. Sabi mo na sa mama, papa mo, Ma, palitan nyo na yung cellphone ko. Luma na eh. Ha? Luma? Six months pa lang ha? You will find fulfillment sa ganun. It will be a vicious cycle. Level up. At level up pa rin ang technology. Every year. Minsan, six months, nagle-level up. Ang... Um, technology. Boyfriend, girlfriend, happy na ako. Pero nag-break up, hindi ka na naman happy. Nag-break up kayo. Nag-break. Well, business, nalugi. O kaya, anakawan ka. So, hindi ka na happy. Employment, okay, ang ganda ng trabaho mo, everything, eh nagkasakit ka. Stroke, sandali lang. Or, nag-retrench. Sabi ng kumpanya, sorry, magsasara na kami. Bibigyan na lang namin kayo ng separation pay. So, Who will give you true fulfillment? It is only God who can give you true fulfillment. Man's work does not satisfy him. It is all vanity and grasping the wind. It will not fill the void in your hand. All earthly pleasures, all things, man's work will not fill the void in your heart. It will not give you true joy and happiness. It is only God. It is in the Lord Jesus Christ that you will have true joy and fulfillment in life. Ibig sabihin po ba niyan? Happy, happy? Oh, I'm in Christ. Yes, happy, happy ako. Parang kang ano, jumping beans, ano? Of course, God will give you the peace that comes from the Lord, even in the midst of troubles, trials, persecution, you know that you are in the Lord. And it is the Lord who will be your deliverer, your Savior. Bakit po si Apostol Pablo binugbo? Nilatigo? Na siyempre, Nagpapatuloy. 
Kasi nakita na niya ang tunay na layunin ng kanyang buhay. It is to serve the Lord, the Lord Almighty. Nakita niya yung takilang Panginoon nung ito ay nagpahayag sa kanya sa daan ng Damasco. Nang isang nagkaroon ng napakaliwanag sa daan ng, sa kanyang patungo para i-persecute ang mga tao ng Panginoon. At ito ay nangusap sa kanya, Soul, soul, why are you persecuting me? At nakita niya, The Lord of glory, the Lord Jesus Christ. Si Apostol Pablo, na matindi sa Judaismo, bumalikwas 180 degrees turn and come to embrace the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. So, sabi nga sa Proverbs 3, chapter 13, verse, chapter 3, verse 13 to 14, Happy is the man who finds wisdom and the man who gains understanding. For her proceeds are better than the profits of silver and her gain than fine gold. E saan po niyo makukuha ang tunay na understanding? The Word of God from your Bible na ating pinag-aaralan Sunday after Sunday or day after day sa inyong bahay. E ngayon, sabi naman din ni Solomon, There is nothing better for a man than to eat and drink and tell himself that his labor is good. This also I have seen that it is from the hand of God. For who can eat and who can have enjoyment without Him? Isipin natin mga kaibigan, kapatid. If the Lord, if you are outside of the Lord Jesus Christ, even in your eating, hindi ka happy. No? Dito siya may who can eat and who can have enjoyment without Him. Ibig sabihin nun, true enjoyment comes from the Lord and the Lord only. Ito sa sanlibutan, mga tao sa sanlibutan, inahanap nila yung enjoyment sa mga material na bagay. But the Word of God points us to Him and to Him alone that will have true enjoyment and true happiness in life. Kaya sabi ko sa Proverbs 13 verse 14, The teaching of the wise is a fountain of life to turn aside from the snare, to turn aside from the snares of death. Sabihin po, ano ba yung snares of death? Is you put your hope and trust and confidence in this world alone. To balance everything, hindi naman po masama ang mga material na bagay na yan. Pera, possessions, mga to, you engage in entertainment, o masasarap na pagkain. Hindi naman po masama eh. Ang masama lang po, eh, dyan nyo ilagay ang inyong kasiyahan at kaligayahan sa mga bagay na yan. And, Stay away from the true and living God. And lastly, sabi ni Solomon, ano ang pagkakaiba ng pantas at mangmang na tao? Pantas at mangmang, the wise at yung mga fools, mangmang na tao. Sila naman ay mamamatay, mamamatay din. Pero, ang mga tao na may kaugnayan sa Panginoon, ang nasa Panginoong Isus, Pumamatay sila, magbubuhay muli. Magbubuhay na walang hanggan. At by the end, sa last days, your body and your soul will come together and you will rise from the dead. Sa ngayon, kung gumraduate kayo, your spirit will go with the Lord while the body stays on the ground. Kaya kaibigan, are you in the Lord Jesus Christ? Kayo ba ay nasa Panginoon na? Sana, 
tumalima ka, magpasakop ka sa Panginoong Isus, nawa siya ang iyong Panginoon na tagapagligtas. Sa iyong mga kasalanan, magsisi ka at mayroong kapatawaran sa kasalanan sa pamagitan ng Panginoong Isa Kristo. Tayo po yung manalamin. O aming Diyos, aming Ama sa Langit, tunay nga po na kayo'y takila, tunay nga po na kayo'y mahabagin, mawain, kayo'y Diyos na pag-ibig at mayroong kapatawaran sa mga kasalanan. Nawa, o aming Diyos, ang mga tao na wala pa sa inyo, sila nawa ay lumapit at kayo nawa ay maging Panginoon at tagapagligtas nila. Sila ay magsisi sa kanilang kasalanan. Pagkalooban niyo sila sa inyong biyaya ng buhay na walang hanggan at kapatawaran sa kanilang kasalanan. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.